So in the last or the first video that I showed you, I showed you how to use Screencastify to capture a video. Now we're going to kind of go into YouTube. The last kind of step that I had introduced you to at the end of that first step video was to publish to YouTube. And when you do that, it's going to kind of springboard out to YouTube and it's going to hopefully put you into YouTube studio. Now, a couple things maybe that are prerequisites that I didn't really talk about, which you might want to do. And if you need help and support, I'd be happy to do that is you're going to need to create your own YouTube channel. And that's just done by using whatever, you know, Google account you want to, whether it's personal or your professional, and you should be able to create your own YouTube channel. And it's again, pretty straightforward and easy. I'd be happy to make a tutorial on setting that up. Um, but I think if uh, with a little gumption, you could probably set that up. It'll it'll show up in your YouTube channel over here and it'll ask you to you know, set up your channel. And again, we could do all kinds of branding within that, too. And again, I'd be happy to create a tutorial on that for people that are interested. Be that as it may, I've gone to Screencastify and I've sent this to YouTube. And now YouTube is looking, it's kind of processing the video. Usually it may take some time depending on how long the video is. But while that's processing, one of my recommendations, and this is where the branding comes in, is it's going to ask you to upload a thumbnail. So that thumbnail will be kind of nice. It's going to be a nice starter image for people to look at when they look at your video. What I like to use to create that is good old Google Slides. So I'm just going to go to slides.google. you can see you're going to get the the classic google shelf you're also going to get kind of the plus button down here if you want to use that i've already created a google slideshow presentation for branding these but again you can create a blank brand new one if you'd like i'm just going to open up the one that i've been using for this and you'll notice i've created just a really simple template for this for my for my YouTube videos. And again, I like to kind of brand them. It really helps, first of all, keep you organized, but it also help visually organize your students. So I'm just gonna actually duplicate this. Again, I could create a blank one if I wanted to. I'm just gonna go here and duplicate this slide. Again, I've already set this up. So again, all I used was a text box here. And this is the title of the videos. I'm going to change this text box. So this is going to be step one of task two. And we're going to call this um, using Screencastify. Okay. And you can see I've changed the kind of color scheme of each of my titles. So I'm going to just go up here to background. I'm just going to change the color just to kind of delineate this. So now it's gonna be a little different. And, you know, just kind of use some visual options. So here, maybe I'll change the color scheme a little bit on this, make that stand out a little bit more. I can move it around and adjust. Again, I'm gonna keep my branding. This is what's known as a Bitmoji. I'm sure many of you are already well familiar with Bitmoji. But so again, I can use just these color options using Google Slides to create a nice branded color image. Again, I do like kind of branding, either put your own picture, put, um, you know, whatever you'd like, a Bitmoji or have been pretty popular and common, put an avatar of you. Uh, those are, I think, nice ways to do that. So once I've created the slide that I want for my starter page, I'm just going to go up here to file. And I'm just going to choose download and you can choose either a JPEG or a PNG. I don't think it really matters either way. So once I've done that, I'm ready for kind of my final step of the video series. And that's to kind of uh, adjust and add. So I'll stop here. I'm just going to go here to upload thumbnail and I'm going to grab that. Uh, I think I put it in downloads, the Google site link, and I'm going to open it up. And that's going to be kind of the starter image. So I'm going to stop here and we'll bring it into the next thing by finishing up and polishing up uh, your uh, YouTube video.